Welcome to the final part of our how-to, where we are walking you through a drive swap to help change the spindle orientation on a Brother TC227 CNC drilling and tapping center in order to execute a tool change. In the previous videos, we covered all the wiring, the encoder card installation and setup, and we ran a basic motor startup to ensure that everything was properly connected. Now we can begin setting up the parameters that will allow us to control the positioning for the spindle orientation. Parameter 2-04 is the multifunction input. We selected option 36, which enables position control orientation from our brother TC227 CNC drilling and tapping center. Parameters 10-00, 10-01 and 10-02 cover the encoder type selection, encoder pulse, and the encoder input type, respectively. For encoder type selection, we have it set to 1. For encoder pulse, we have it set to 1024 for a single line pulse. And for encoder input type, we have that set to 1. If you are consulting an older version of the Delta C2000 manual, it should be noted that parameter 10-19 is now 11-66, and parameter 10-20 is now 11-52. Parameter 11-66 covers the encoder orientation and position count, and the number that we are pointing at it is what we want to have the spindle stopping and clocking at. In the episode that covered the encoder card install and setup, we mentioned that there is a dip switch on the EMC PG01U that should be set to S for standard ABZ UVW encoder usage. It is important to double check to make sure that that dip switch is set properly, and this needs to be done before applying power to the drive. Do not change the dip switch setting when the drive is energized. From there, we have parameter 11-00 set to 2, although there may be some other settings for other spindle orientation applications. If you are using 11-00 set to 1, you will need to adjust parameter 11-05 for speed holding response and or 11-03 for low speed response. With our parameters set, we can now move on to the Delta C2000 internal PLC communication configuration. As we stated in our previous episodes, we chose the Delta C2000 drive for this project because of this built-in PLC program that allows us to program and configure the spindle orientation for the tool change. And you will need to upload this program to the drive using the Delta software and USB link. You can download and install the latest versions of the ISPsoft and ComGR software from Delta's download center for free. However, you will need to purchase the IFD6500 USB separately in order to properly set up the PLC program. We have a PLC program to run the spindle orientation with this drive, however it needs this program to run command on the PLC to do the orientation. When setting up a project with a Delta C2000 internal PLC communication program, it is important to refer to the Delta C2000 user manual, specifically chapter 16, which covers all the information needed to safely and properly use the internal PLC. Visit our blog at galco.com where we will post the link where you can download the newest versions of the Delta software available through the Delta Download Center and the PLC program for implementing the spindle orientation with the PLC logic. Please use this at your own risk and application. With all the parameters set and the project set up through the Delta C2000 PLC, we can now execute the positioning for our tool change. Thanks for joining us in this series. For more information on the Delta products used in this video, visit us at gelco.com. To view the previous episodes in this series, search the Delta Drive Upgrade playlist on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Gelco TV so you can be notified when new videos are posted every week.